What do you think, Spanky? Lift it or we'll lower it? Lift it, huh? Okay, well, let's take these springs and shocks and chuck them on here. On there. Yeah, on there. I'm gonna chuck them on this. Um, this is a 96 K Swap CRV. Um, before we do the lift, let's chuck it back on OEM wheels, which are over here. Get rid of these drug dealer spec ones. It'll give us a good baseline for how much the lift is. So yeah, before we get stuck into it, get the OEM wheels on here. Got it back on its OEM wheels. Uh, I think it looks a hell of a lot better than those big dub spec chromies, but it's just me. Um, before we start tearing everything apart, I'm just gonna take a measurement from the arch to here, and probably just from there to the ground, somewhere simple. And it'll give us a rough idea of the kind of lift that these springs give us. First thing we need to do is get this thing on jack stands. Now that we've got it lifted up, we can take the wheels off it and start looking at the suspension bolts. There's just two bolts down here. Uh, one's a 14 that runs through this fork to the actual shock. And the one below it is a nut and bolt, which are 17. Let's chuck that aside. And you got the two 14s up the top here. Might have to lift up on that to slide that out. There we go. Um, you might have to put a jack underneath this arm and just jack everything up to create some more room to get this out. Uh, for me, it just fell out. Cool, now let's do the back ones. For the rear struts, there's a plastic cover that covers the top of them. This is behind the rear seats. This is the rear seat belt, rear speaker. Just pop this up and then away like that. Remove this dust cover. Two 14s. Right, let's unbolt it from the bottom now. Underneath we've got two 14s, one for the actual um, arm here and one for the strut. And there it is. Lift spring, new KYB strut, and the old CRV strut. I'm gonna have to compress this with some spring compressors. Remove this, transfer, over some, uh, transfer the top over, and the dust boot, dust shield, whatever you wanna call it, over to this. But before we do that, I need to open this thing and push this rod in and out a few times, get some fluid flowing back through the system. Important to try and maintain the alignment between here and the alignment notches on the strut. So to do that, just gonna take a pen and mark here, which isn't really that obvious. I'm gonna mark here, a little dot, and here with a dot. <clears throat> and then this side, just a line. This is just gonna help if anything gets mixed up. Hey, let's do this dodgy business of compressing the springs. I really hate doing this. There we go. It's loose at the bottom. So now we can undo this with a 14. And then I've got a five mil Allen and a 14 on here. Remember the order that that was all in. This little curl here sits in there. This 
This little picker slides over there like that. And then repeat the process. Cool, now we can loosen these terrifying fucking things off of here. And that's a front shock done. And there it is. One lift spring and new strut for the front. Now I'm just gonna quickly repeat the same process for the rear. Okay, so we got our lift springs fitted to our new shocks. So let's chuck them back in. This is the reverse of removing them, obviously. Only difference is you're probably gonna need a floor jack just to get this arm up a little bit. Like that. Just to make it easier to fit through this this gap here in the arm, because as this drops down, it kind of constrains what you can fit through here. Down first. And then back up. So now I'm just gonna finger tight these nuts on the top, just to hold it in place. And then raise this back up. That. Okay. This lining up with that notch. Beauty. Now I can put some weight on it. Like so. Slide this faker in. Get the top bolts, they're 14s. And there's your front one installed. Now let's move to the back. The back's even easier, it just needs a 14. Everything's just going together in the opposite way it was taken apart. Short bolt is for the strut. Long bolt is for the arm. And there we go, lift springs installed all around, front and back. I've already done the other side, so let's get this thing ready to be dropped. And yes, this is a rear disc conversion using prelude parts. I have a video on how to do this. There'll be a link up here or in the description. Otherwise, just uh, go to the K-Swap CRV playlist. It has all of this stuff in it. This is gonna be really loud. Um, the exhaust just dumps straight out of the headers to the ground. My driveway is kind of bumpy, so it's gonna be a kind of good test for um, settling the suspension before I measure it. But yeah, the neighbors are not gonna like this at all. Um, here we go. This is like the first proper drive it's really had. Breaks a shit. Fuck. This thing is going to be absolutely savage.
Oops. Sorry, neighbors. It, um, <clears throat> it lit up the front tires really easy going up the hill. Um, good thing this is going to be all-wheel drive because that was, uh, that's pretty ridiculous. My wife is probably going to shit herself when she first drives this. Uh, that should be interesting to catch that on camera. Well, just casually, I just saw the police drive up the, uh, driveway here so they might have been looking for me hopefully not there's a couple of fuckwits out the back so maybe it was them probably not though um the standard ride height for this car was 29 inches front and back and we've gone to 31 to 30 so gained about an inch and a half all around which is about what it was supposed to do uh, we'll get some more lift out of it when we put bigger wheels and tires on it but this extra spring lift will help with uh clearance so yeah and new shocks which is good we're getting very close to the thousand subscriber mark we're just over 800 so thank you very much for everyone that has subscribed never thought i would have this many people following along with this um, a lot of you aren't subscribed that come back to watch which is great but if you want to help just subscribe this time around and uh, we'll get across the line to that 1000 um, also here in new zealand we have a thing called cert which means basically an engineer will check over all the things I've done to this and make sure it's okay to drive with the rest of the lunatics on the public roads here. Um, that can be a bit of a headache to go through. Um, also, this is going to need a tune and it's going to need the prop shaft put in for all-wheel drive and the exhaust finished up. So between a tune, cert, and um, other little bits and pieces, there might be a, uh, a little hold on producing videos on the case swap. So we might have some other content coming up in between that. Things, those things may change, but yeah, uh, it hasn't stopped, it hasn't disappeared. We just might have a few things holding us up. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this one and uh, see you in the next one. Cheers.